everyone. So today I'm doing a, another review. Oh my god, um, this time, oh look, it's my face. I'm looking at you. I've got lipstick on. I brushed my hair. All for you. So um, I was sent something to review. Um, uh, do my usual spiel at the beginning. Every time I'm contacted, asked to review a product. Uh, Here. I just, I don't know why you're staring at me like, what's your face, what's your face? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Somebody wanted, hello. Somebody <laughs> really wanted to be part of the team. Look, there's you. Oh, she is gorgeous. Trapped in her own reflection. Is it you? She's a dog, she's not self-aware. Okay, so Evie wants to be part of this bit. So she will be. Um, so. Every time I am contacted, to, <laughs> she really is quite trapped in her own reflection. Put you in a mirror ball suit. Um, every time I'm contacted and asked to review a product, I respond with the same thing. So I always say I'm happy to try any product. If I like it, um, I will do a review. If I don't, I will always send it back and tell you why I don't like it. I never do a bad review. Um, and I always try and do quite an honest review because, um, I don't know, you're probably like me. I work really hard for the money I have, which isn't much, um, says the girl with the pony. Um, that's why I'm quite poor. Um, but I'm quite, no, I don't want to say stingy, but I'm quite frugal. So I want to be quite careful with how I spend my money. Um, so I think the same for the people that follow me. I don't want to waste their money. So while I will only um, recommend products that I would personally use myself. So, we're going to have to put her down in a minute, like on the floor, not the other one. Um, you must go, darling. I've just got to do some work. When lockdown ends, she's going to struggle because she won't have me worshipping her 24-7. I mean, she will, but she's so pretty. Right, so I was sent a UVC steriliser box thing. So first of all, I'm just going to go over how UVC worked. Oh, she's just settling down. She's not getting off. She's just going to lie down. Okay. Yeah, I know, but you're putting on a lot of weight recently, like mummy, and you take up a lot of room. My lap's not big enough. Okay, so UVA, UVB, and UVC lights. This is a UVC light. So UVC, basically how it works is it destroys the DNA of bacteria and germs. So the idea is you put something in the light box, any bacteria, germs, any nasties on it, the light will destroy, thank you, the light will destroy it and therefore make it sterile. Right. So I just have to do a quick disclaimer, which is for all of these boxes. I have a little box in my salon where I keep my clean tools in. She talks to me. Um, so what I was sent was this. You can't come back up. Um, not myself in the face with it. So this is the UVC sterilizer box. So how this works is, just unzip it. Ta-da! So you've got lights at the bottom, you've got a little grill to put things on, and you've got lights at the top. It's all like metal, not metal, metallic reflective inside so when you put things in here drip it up press go um you can't see through here but i can see there's like an ultraviolet so obviously there's a filter on that but you can see that it's on so within three minutes that will have sterilized things now the kind of what the small print these are good for cleaned, disinfected products, tools even, sorry. So you still need to, whenever you used your tools, your cuticle pushes, anything like that, you need to do your usual washing, drying, barbicide, mundo, whatever disinfectant you use, pop it in there, and then again, bring it out, dry it, do your usual thing, and then you can pop it in one of these boxes. What that means is, you know all of your clean tools are in that box. You can pop the light on, and it is as clean as clean can be for a salon environment, bar, say, getting an autoclave. Um, 
what you need to remember with these things is they are not for dirty tools they are not for tools you don't just use your tool pop it in there and it's sterilized and it's good to go you need to do your usual cleaning disinfecting and everything like that be also aware things like <laughs> one second so there the light won't get in that little nook and cranny but barbicide will so remember that whenever you're using like things like this cuticle nippers things like that the hinges stuff like that the light won't penetrate you must always make sure whenever you put things in there that they are tiled so they're not lying on top of each other if you put things on top of each other the light won't get into the middle so it's not working i left my notifications on sorry um I like this product i like it's put together nicely it is a you know it's a good quality product it retails at about 200 dollars. i think they're on sale at the moment i'm going to be honest that's a lot of money <laughs> for an additional step that you don't necessarily need um so i mean it depends on the size of your salon it depends how many people are working in it stuff like that i think for the bigger salons or if you're mobile and you're like i just want to be able to put all my tools in one place and i know it's clean and tidy and it's there and then as the day goes on i'll put my dirty ones in a different place yeah that if you've got that kind of budget however um i th i do believe um 200 for the majority of people will be a little bit too much this company does also do the little chests like the ones that i've got in my salon um and that's um, at a much lower price and um, those I think are useful to have in salon as I said it's well made it's put together nicely and um, the instructions are really good the plug is English it's a UK plug um, the instructions are all in English so it's not like you're going through going where's the English instructions it is very clear very simple to use it does you know the it's, it's a well thought out product um, as I said, I think if you're a large salon, this could be useful, stuff like that. I think the, the biggest thing I need to push at this point, especially in time, is that it can be a little misleading when you see these light boxes that say they are sterilisation. They are not. They will never replace the disinfectant that we have to use in salon. If you want the highest, highest, highest level, it is kind of down the autoclave route. But even then, once again, it's the same with the autoclave. The minute you bring it out, it's contaminated by the air around it so um yeah <laughs> um that's a whole other story but yeah so it's a nice product um i personally probably wouldn't spend 200 dollars on it um I'm, I'm not arguing whether it's worth that but i do think it's a little bit high for the majority of people viewing me do have a little look on the website though because they do the smaller boxes which could be useful in your salon as i said every day i have the when i'm back and working which maybe never um i have all my dirty tools i put them to one side or when i finish my client i put them back in that box and then what i do is i will then clean them in between my clients and then clean out the box so put it all in the box and then put the light on so it is it is something i do use a lot in salon but remember it is not the be all and end all and it cannot replace disinfection disinfectant and stuff like that so that's about it really i hope you found this useful guys um as i said there it is i think and that's another thing actually this has been quite well designed so i wouldn't actually mind that on the shelf in my salon i think it's quite it would fit in a salon a lot of these that's one thing a lot of these tend to look a bit like medical equipment <laughs> look a bit like hospitally so i do think they've thought about the design of this quite well because i think that would look quite nice in a lot of salons um obviously that's not the reason to buy something but yeah anyway i hope you found this re uh, review useful um if there's anything else you'd like to see me review just pop um in the description in the description in the comments below if you have products you would like me to review then feel free to contact me um all of my contact links are in the description below i hope you're all staying safe and relatively sane in these crazy times um and i will see you all again soon bye